let's find the probability of rolling doubles. Now, as we're doing this, we're gonna start simple and do the probability of getting two fives instead. And as we build that probability of two fives, it's really the probability of getting a five on the first dice and a five on the second dice. I can think of that probability as the fraction, the number of favorable outcomes out of the total number of outcomes. Let's go ahead and break this down. So that probability of five and five can really be written as the probability of five on the first and which is multiply the probability of five on the second. Let's go ahead and do that first dice. Now there's only one five on a dice out of there are six total numbers on the dice. So the probability of getting that first five is a one out of six. Now I can do the probability of that second dice. So for that second one, the probability of five, it's gonna be the same, right? There's again, one five on that dice out of the six total. I can multiply this guy straight across and I end up with one over 36 as our probability. Now we're ready to do the probability of any doubles. I'm not sure if that's the best English, but you know what I mean, of getting double ones or double twos or double threes. So as we're doing that probability of getting any doubles, we've got several different cases. So like I mentioned, double ones or twos or threes, fours, fives, or sixes. Now in probability, that or means plus. So as I'm doing my probability of getting one and a one, I'm gonna take that case and add it to the probability of getting a two and a two, plus so on and so forth, okay, dot, 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 the probability of getting a six and a six. Now, when I put these probabilities together, I can do the probability of a one and a one. If I do that first one, there's one out of six ones on a dice, and the probability of the second one is another one out of six. So we end up with one out of 36. And I'm gonna get the very same probability for double twos, for double threes, for double sixes, all the way down the line. So there are six of these. So I can write this as six times one out of 36. Now I can cancel that six into the 36. That leaves me with a six there. And I end up with this really nice probability of getting any doubles of a one out of six. You are doing so great. Take a look at my next video here on more probability. Thanks for watching.